Good evening, everyone. Archbishop Stefan, Prime Minister Nikola Gorevsky, the President of the General Assembly of the United Nations, and to all of my friends uh, here tonight. This is a truly important event, and I salute our beautiful church in Ottawa that hosts this 37th meeting and convocation holding the 50th anniversary of our efforts to have Macedonian Americans take their place at the table, the American table as well as the Canadian table. I salute my Canadian friends for making this trip here tonight. We welcome you all. Now, my friends, in the Congress of the United States of America, and I'm privileged to represent the Congress tonight to welcome this convocation, my job, given to me by my friend Shlafko Mazarov, was to make sure that the Congress of the United States did not interfere with the sovereign nation of Macedonia to name itself what it wants to be called.
my job, if I'm going to do my job, I got to know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Detroit, Michigan, just built a beautiful church. The closeness of the people in this room to their churches is what distinguishes Macedonia and Macedonian Americans. I'm proud to be associated. You know you came here with nothing. You came here with nothing. You found a place in Canada or the United States to work so hard for your families. We will not forget this. I will not forget this. I am honored to be here tonight with my friends. I can assure you, I will not take one back step in my efforts, not only to protect the Macedonian Americans in this country, but to make sure that we continue to respect Macedonia as a sovereign nation. No one will interfere. number of people who understood what I was talking about in a phone booth. Now everyone in the Congress understands what is at stake here. God bless Macedonia. God bless Macedonian Americans. As Bishop, Prime Minister, you have a friend in the Congress of the United States. God bless you tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Congressman Cicero. We can always count on your support. Thank you.